Hi, Chef Matt at the Rothland in Kansas City, and today we're going to talk about the knife skill cut of a brunoise. And these videos are meant to introduce you to how to best use your wolf cutlery, and also to get the most in your kitchen with your appliances that you're using from Wolf and Sub Zero. And we really want you to enjoy and really hone those skills and have some fun. So let's talk about the brunoise. The brunoise is a little bit of a tricky cut if you're not sure how to start it out. Um, it's 1 8 by 1 8 by 1 8. And so that's a very small fine cut. And when would I use brunoise? So classically brunoise was used as a garnish. You would cook it in a little bit of the consomme broth in a classic French preparation of a consomme. And that was the garnish in the bottom of the, of the soup cup. Um, however, we don't do as much classical consomme uh, nowadays. Um, another application you might use it in would be a crab salad or a tuna salad, uh, something where you want a very, very fine dice, almost a mince of some vegetables uh, that you want the flavor, you want a little bit of the crunch, but you don't necessarily want some larger vegetables. So I'm gonna show you how to do a bell pepper, and I think we'll also do a purple carrot today, okay? So let's start off with, we're gonna cut a side off of this red bell pepper, okay? And we'll set that pepper aside. Now, when would I use a bell pepper with this brunoise cut? Um, I think that I would use it for a little bit of a sprinkle around a plate for some decoration, or also on some salad to go with something. So, so now I want you to be very careful. I'm pressing down with my finger, and I'm gonna move my, my other hand away in just a moment, but I'm just doing this little action of taking the top meat off of that pepper, okay? Uh, that's known to be a little bit more bitter, so I'm going to eliminate that and set that aside. And now I have a very thin, sweet part of the bell pepper, all right? And once again, I'm going to start, I'm gonna use the rocking motion of the chef knife. I'm gonna start with my tip on the board, and I'm just gonna rock this knife back and forth. I'm bringing it back and pushing it forward, okay? And this allows me to control how far over the knife travels, which is only an eighth of an inch, okay? Now, we push all those together, in a nice uniform stack, the straighter they are, and the flatter they are, the better they'll cut, okay? So just like this, we line them up. Cutting is very systematic, if you will. Uh, it is just simply going one direction and then turning and going another direction to finish the cut. So I'm using that shape of the rounded belly of the knife, and once again, we're not going too fast, it's not a race. And the result is we have this really fun little pile of some Brunoise red bell peppers that I can use in, in several different preparations and have some fun with those, okay? So we'll move those aside for just a moment. And then we're going to Open up my hand a little bit, and we're going to do a purple carrot, okay? Love these organic purple carrots, and we're just going to go ahead and cut the thickest part of the carrot. I'm not too worried. I'm going to say this is a snack for something. Um, I'm going to work with the belly of the carrot, if you will. And I need a flat surface. Carrots roll on you very easily, so I want to have a flat surface to work with. I'm going to start with my tip in the end and push down through, create a flat surface, okay? Now I've got a flat surface to work with. And once again, down and through from the end, cut those sides off one more time, and we'll move those out of the way so we've got lots of room to work with. Now I'm going to take and cut just an eighth inch off the side at a time, okay? And we're going to cut, we'll cut three of these, okay? And we're going to line these up side by side. And I'm going to make little eighth inch cuts, about three cuts per stick. It's very fine, all right? 
And then once again, just like the peppers, I turn that and now I'm real close to having a julienne there, but we're gonna turn this into a brunoise. And we just use the rocking motion of that belly knife from Wolf and we just let the knife very gently travel across the board as we walk our fingertips back. There we go. And we've got this really, really attractive brunoise of this purple carrot that we can use in a salad or a soup or whatever you might like to use that in. Okay? So this is covering uh, the brunoise cut. Uh, if you would like to see more knife cuts from the Wolf Chefs at Roth Living, then please come back to our YouTube channel and search for more of that content. We're going to cover all of the knife basics to make sure that you're armed with all the proper tools to just have a blast in that Wolf Kitchen, okay? Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.